Jordan Peterson says, The idea that neighborhoods should be walkable is lovely. The idea that idiot, tyrannical bureaucrats can decide by fiat where you're allowed to drive is perhaps the most Im worst imaginable perversion of that idea. And make no mistake, it's part of a well-documented plan. Oh, there are... It's part of the plan to, uh... To socially castrate men by telling them they're not by telling them they're not allowed to drive in certain places we used to be a real country where men were men and we could drive wherever we goddamn well pleased yeah it's yeah where 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 you're allowed to drive yeah who who are you to tell me that i'm not allowed to drive on a sidewalk oh you're a cop well, who who gave you that authority? The woke governments? Yeah, you're excuse me, sir, you're you're violating your 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 ethical code as a police officer by choosing to enforce woke laws <laughs> that say I'm not allowed to drive on this on this street. That this is a this is a pedestrian street. What is a pedestrian street? What does that even mean? Streets are for driving, not for walking. He probably would say that. Back in my day, men would drive on streets, but now the weak-ass soy boys just walk on the streets. Honestly, walkable streets is is pretty pretty cool, right? It's already happening. Hashtag the Great Reset. Wait, what? Traffic filters will divide city into six 15-minute neighborhoods. What's wrong with that? Like 15 minutes, as in, as in you can walk anywhere in, in 15 minutes. We can drive anywhere in 15 minutes. Oh, here we go. The tyrannical woke overlords keep telling me you can't drive when the light is red and you have to stop at stop signs. You can't drive into buildings. Yeah. I won't be held down by school zones or walls. I'll drive whenever I damn well please. I don't think you you should be allowed to drive on sidewalks, probably. Well, yeah, that, that's what I would say. There are all sorts of places you can't drive. Jordan Peterson on his way to a grocery store in the walkable city. Up yours, woke moralists. I'll drive wherever I god damn well please. This actually happened. All these faces are blurred out, so... I'm thinking this actually happened. Oh, this is somewhere in China, it looks like. Is this car stuck, too? Oh, the license plate is blurred out, too. Yeah, look, it looks like none of the wheels are on the ground. It's like, like, tip, so, it's like, seesawing over here. Middle part, that's funny. <laughs> I guess this actually happens. I'll keep this in mind. Never drive down a flight of stairs. Or if you are, you gotta, you gotta go fast, right? Yeah, the, this guy's issue is that he pussied out, like, halfway through. He was going too slow. Maybe he was trying to not hit pedestrians. But, like, who who cares about that shit, right? You gotta go fast. You gotta live fast. Or you're not even living at all, right? Yeah, if, you, if he had enough speed, he could have made it over this. The automobile is a symbol of American freedom. I want robust public transportation infrastructure as much as the next Patriot, but going full anti-personal vehicle is an insane take. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, this is unironic. Hmm. Oh, this is a, a nerd detector. Yeah. Yeah, I, I am anti-car. I mean... Cars are nice, but like, we gotta have, we gotta have like, we're transporting large amounts of people, uh, cars are just not, not efficient. They, they are not fuel efficient at all. It's like, we have to have train, buses, mostly trains, trains are cool. I like trains. Right, and trams. Oh man, I went to Europe. I vacationed in Europe and I was like, why Why don't we have trams in America? This is so cool, it's so convenient. It's like, little buses. Honestly, I'm not sure like if we should have buses or trams. I mean, I think buses 
be more practical, because, like, it is kind of fucked how, like, trains and trams have to stick to the track, right? These communists, they want to control where you can and cannot go. That's why they like trains. That's what, that's what they'll, they'll, they'll say, right? <laughs> This goes against our founding principles of road anarchism. I didn't pave my own road. Local hospital. Have some pointy-headed bureaucrat and move. Wait, what? I'll drive on the damn sidewalk. Whenever I want to, officer. Tyranny is already here in my neighborhood. Uniformed nine-year-old shock troops are stopping, stopping traffic to allow privileged little communists with cartoon-branded backpacks to pour into the lacrosse walks every at 2.40 p.m. This is literally communism. You're telling me I can't drive? You're telling me I I have to go slow next to uh next to a school bus? I'll go however fast I goddamn well please, and you can't tell me otherwise. Right? Because this is America. I didn't pave my own road to the local hospital. Well, you didn't pave any road. If you did pave your own road, good good for you, but look. It's part of a well-documented exit. Oh, this is like a 15-minute neighborhood. Walk anywhere in 15 This is fine. 15-minute cities, a UN and WF plan because they care about you. That's crossed out and they say they want you to drive less. Well, yeah, that's all also true. But yeah, we... we want, wanting people to drive less means that you care about them. Some ways for for several reasons. First of all, cars are expensive, right? Doing car, having to do car payments, and like uh, always taking your cars in for repairs and checkups, and having oil changed is expensive. Gas is expensive, and like automobile accidents are are very common. One of the most common. Uh, wait, can we actually um look up um? Vehicular uh, death per year. Per. 2016 data shows 37,461 people were killed. 34,436 fatal motor vehicle crashes and average vehicular deaths. Um, 37,000 people died in one year. We look up, um, causes of death. Oh, wait, worldometer. Worldometer is good. Oh, it's 2020. So, of course, heart disease is number one everywhere. That because American are all high cholesterol fatties and cancer okay yeah you can't do much of that but accidents three unintentional injury so uh, not necessarily uh automobile accident percent of total that's 5.9 cents three leading causes of accident related death are unintentional falls again old people mostly <laughs> Falling and uh, hitting their head. Or vehicle traffic death. Yeah, that can happen to anyone, right? Like, kids playing in the street will often, like, be hit by cars. Unintentional poisoning. Unintentional injuries. may be the result of carelessness or lack of careful action. Be aware of your surrounding. Yeah. As in, watch out for any... For any uh, two-ton hunks of steel barreling towards you at 30 miles an hour down a suburban street, right? Or just like remove the cars and you don't have to have to constantly be looking both ways twice every time you cross the street. Yeah, and you can look, this guy is riding a bicycle. It's so cute. Riding bikes is so much more fun than driving a car. Like, Riding a bike, you're, you're, you know, powering it with your own body, so it's a little more satisfying. And, like, you can feel the wind blowing through the air. 
on your skin. Right, and it's not really more dangerous driving in a car. Depends, right? Because I've seen uh, bicycle accidents. But, like, they're not that bad, <laughs> really. Often, like, if two bikes bump into each other, the worst thing that happens is, like, the guy falls and, like, hits something. Oh, well, like, that's why they wear helmets, right? So, yeah, stay active, eat healthy, work, care, stock up, enjoy the outdoors, take care of your health, get around. Yeah, this is, this is nice. You... And a 15 minute city so yeah the the zoning laws in america are are super fucked so. so yeah this is what zoning in america looks like in a lot of places look single family residential single family residential all in this big area is just houses just like rows and rows of cookie cutter uh suburban houses right and you have to like drive like half an hour or even more to get from here to the commercial area. Just one big mall. Then the multifamily residential. And over here you have the open space. Right? So... You have to have to like ride your bike for... for like half an hour. Get anywhere outside of your neighbor. Or... You gotta, you gotta ride your car is, you know, offensive, dangerous. So, yeah, this is, this is what causes a lot of, like, you know, depression and, like, uh, social issues with, like, people not being able to other people. Whereas this, this is nice. Imagine, like, a city where, like, you can, you can walk 15 minutes to, uh, or less to get to all of the things, right? Like you can go to a park, you can go to market, a farmer's market where they're selling healthy foods, or a, a park where you can work out, engage in your community. So you can have community centers, right? Oftentimes, a town will only have one community, like this downtown area. Oh, and also, like, having mixed-use residential housing. Like, in cities, there will be, like, businesses on the bottom floor, and then above that will be, um, be housing. Because, like, that's the most efficient way to do things, but, like, this is taboo in suburban areas for some reason, right? To be, imagine like not having to drive half an hour to get to a group. right? So fun, so cool. You can just like walk ten minutes down the street to get groceries. No, you have to put the grocery store a half hour drive away from from your. Okay, now we got street filters. So this is like divvying up city into like 15 neighborhoods. Yeah, what is a road filter? Police plans to divide the city into five zones and find motorists if they cross between them. That is weird. You can't, uh, you can't can't drive from one area to another. Anyone wishing to travel across the city will need to drive to its perimeter onto the A2 or the proposed eastern bypass before Rose will close rat runs and ease congestion in the city. Critics argue will create segregation. Yeah, you're literally segregating. Then Canterbury, uh, it's in England. So this is like one suggested. You'll own nothing and you'll be happy. I mean, yeah, this is, if this happens, this is kind of cringe, like, putting up road filters, 
is kind of weird, but like, is this happening? It's already happening. Hashtag great reset. Hashtag jail Schwab. Uh oh. What is what is what does Charles Schwab have to do with it? Isn't I, yeah. Schwab is like another anti-Semitic dog whistle, isn't it? Because like they're Schwab is like a Jewish banker, right? I think like people have caught on to like Soros. Like the right wing has been hammering on like Soros being like the big bad Jewish Billy for too long. People have caught on to that, so now it's like. Charles Schwab or like Bill Gates, right? I don't think that he seems Jewish, right? He's Jewish enough for these guys to shit on him, right? Anyway, yeah, this is a bad idea. Putting up road filters, but this is not a bad idea, right? Like creating communities where you can get anywhere within 15 minutes. You can get to all these places by like going on a 15 minute drive that that is good like creating like these all self-sufficient communities you know it's fine and it seems like this is just like an idea i think uh would have heard about it if it's actually done yeah they have released plans to do that. So, decide by fiat. What does that mean? Fiat currency? I know what fiat currency is. A formal authorization or proposition. Arbitrary order. Yeah, because fiat is like arbitrarily ordered. That, uh this money is is worth something because we say it is right where you're allowed to drive yeah what 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 plan is there the plan to like emasculate like the the if anything the plan is like isolating people within like non-walkable communities so that they can't like meet with other people and like do some do some community building and organizing because strong communities are a threat to the establishment right strong self-sufficient communities are a threat right If anything, that's the plan that is well documented. Yeah, what is what is the plan? I'd like to know. 